New at 9, the Tulsa Fire Department has launched their second alternative response team called ART-2 to help with calls that don't require a fire engine. The new ART-2 will focus on the area inside downtown's inner dispersal loop where firefighters say they are seeing a rise in calls. Fox 23's Catherine James is live after getting a look inside the new unit. <laughs> That's right, Shan Sarah. The new Art 2 is an SUV about the size of that, a little bigger than that. And it's basically loaded with medical supplies, water, and outreach, uh, basically outreach service materials that get people on the streets in touch with uh, uh, services that they need. Now, after its first day, TFT says that it's already having an impact, running on at least 11 calls within the first 24 hours. The Tulsa Fire Department has seen a rise in calls in the downtown area, especially medical calls. Some of our medical calls that were getting dispatched were actually uh, people looking for um, a place to stay, food to eat. TFD launched an alternative response team called ART2 that will focus on calls like this inside Tulsa's inner dispersal loop. EMS Director Justin Lemery explains what's inside. This is our unit here. So this is some of the same complement of medical gear that you would see on a fire truck or in an ambulance. Uh, we have our medical gear to take care of any medical call that would come in uh, along with a monitor. Uh, so that's within the standards. We also have uh, ice cold water. So when we have hot days like today, uh, if someone needs an ice cold water when we're out on a call, we can make sure they get that to stay hydrated um, and, and in a good place. We have harm reduction kits as we talked about, uh, Narcan leave behind kits. Um, fentanyl test strips, and then we also provide uh, education pamphlets on what to do if you overdose or, or those items. So we want to provide education and every opportunity that we can. Between 2020 and 2022, TFD says they saw an increase of about 2,000 calls from the area. This map shows that downtown has one of the highest call loads of the entire city. In addition to taking calls, Lemery says Art 2 will also patrol downtown looking for people who may be in a vulnerable situation. One of our our goals for this program is to identify who those individuals are and make sure we're connecting them with services or helping them out uh, in any way that we can. TFD says that ART2 will be in the pilot phase for the next 90 days. After that, they'll take a look at making it permanent if it's been successful. And judging on these results, uh, Lemery says it looks like it's going to be a success. Reporting live in Tulsa covering news that matters, Catherine James, Fox 23 News.